So we have an update on the plans for Kenny Omega going forward in Impact Wrestling, or at least a little bit of an update what Kenny Omega is going to be doing in the near future when it comes to Impact. Now, since defeating John Moxley for the AEW World Championship, the AEW World Champion Kenny Omega has split his time between All Elite Wrestling on Wednesday nights on TNT and Impact Wrestling on Tuesday nights on Access TV. Now, the cleaner has since reunited with his former Bullet Club brothers and current Impact World Tag Team Champions, Kyle Anderson and Doc Gallows, the good brothers on Tuesday nights. He will also team with them against the Impact World Champion Rich Swan and the Motor City Machine Guns at the Hard to Kill pay-per-view on January 16. Now, according to Mike Johnson of PW Insider, Impact Wrestling taped material of Kenny Omega in Florida last week, which will be inserted into future episodes of Impact Wrestling on Access TV going forward. Now, what these segments consist of, what actually this means, and what actually happened in these segments with Kenny Omega and, I'm assuming, Don Callis, Carl Anson and Doc Gallows going forward, we don't know. We don't know about that. And to be honest, we don't really talk about spoilers here on the channel. We just talk about news and react to what we see on the TV. But it was also noted by Mike Johnson of PW Insider in this report that Kenny Omega will not be wrestling in an Impact Wrestling ring before the Hard to Kill pay for you. Now, what Kenny Omega will do in Impact Wrestling after this match at Hard to Kill remains to be seen. But a feud with Rich Swan over the Impact World Championship. The Impact Wrestling World Champion, of course, is Rich Swan, has been hinted at heavily since Kenny Omega first arrived in Nashville at Skyway Studios and has since done all of these appearances for Impact Wrestling going forward. Kenny Omega has mentioned several times that he is trying to be a collector of World Championship titles and seemingly does have his eye on the Impact World Championship and even potentially the TNA World Heavyweight Championship currently held by Moose. So it was also noted during this report as well, also worth noting that Kenny Omega going forward will probably not be at the actual TV tapings in January once they start taping them, but you never know what Kenny Omega and Don Callis have at their sleeves. This has been ever changing and ever evolving ever since it really started with that, uh, ep with that episode of uh, Dynamite, the Winter is Coming special edition of Dynamite on TNT a couple of weeks ago. And to be honest, this news is what I said before, and it's not very surprising to me personally, because then if you watch the channel and you watch the videos we do about Impact Wrestling, it's not super surprising because this is what I said they would probably do. Kenny Omega, I mentioned before, there was no reason to not have Kenny Omega in every episode of Impact Wrestling going forward, coming out of that Winter is Coming edition of Dynamite. Why? Because it's not hard to do. If you know the way that Impact Wrestling produces TV, if you know the way that they edit and post-produce everything they do, you would know that basically it's very, very easy to have Kenny Omega in Impact Wrestling. All you would need is a day or a couple of days of filming constantly with Kenny Omega, filming five, six, seven segments back to back to back to back. Then you've got seven weeks worth of TV and appearances of Kenny Omega in the can. All you need to do is just edit them one after another into these shows, and that's exactly what they're going to do. I felt that they could do a couple of days of filming, just add it into the show via post-production, and that would then have a Kenny Omega presence, an AEW presence on uh, Impact Wrestling TV going forward. Now, what was interesting from that report as well, and what I wanted to talk about here, is that it doesn't look like we will see Kenny Omega actually wrestle inside of an Impact Wrestling ring until um, Hard to Kill. I mean, we definitely won't see him wrestle in an Impact Wrestling ring before Hard to Kill, which ultimately, right, let's think about this rationally, it's absolutely the right call, isn't it? It's absolutely the right call. Part of the appeal here, especially for that Hard to Kill match, isn't the, the combinations of matches we didn't think we were going to see before, but part of the appeal here is that Kenny Omega competes inside of an Impact Wrestling ring for the first time. So why would you waste Kenny Omega's first match inside of an Impact Wrestling ring on an episode of Impact on Access TV, especially at this time of the year where we know not as many people are watching? Why would you waste it at Genesis just seven days before the pay-per-view match for Hard to Kill? Part of the selling point is having Kenny Omega's first match inside of an Impact Wrestling ring. So it makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? It makes a lot of sense to hold off uh, until Kenny Omega has that match at Hard to Kill. And then potentially going forward on the episodes of Impact going forward, you could have an, an episode where Kenny Omega does compete. Like I said, we don't know, and it certainly doesn't look like that Kenny Omega is going to actually be at those TV tapings in January. Things could change, though, but anything is possible. It does go back to that report, though, doesn't it? And I hate to keep bringing it up, to hate that I'm trying to bury Wrestling Inc. or anything like that, because I'm not, but you have to hold these reports accountable. A one-off was the phrase used, right? Not that intertwined. This Kenny Omega uh, appearances on Impact Wrestling, it was going to be a one-off. It was a favor to Don Callis. It was only because they wanted to have the Good Brothers make an appearance in AEW going forward. And it was just a favor to Don Callis by Kenny Omega for appearing on Dynamite the prior week. 
That is so far off what actually is reality at this point. Kenny Omega is going to be making five, six, seven, eight, even potentially more appearances in Impact Wrestling going forward. We know Kenny Omega is going to be wrestling in multiple Impact Wrestling pay-per-views, headlining multiple Impact Wrestling pay-per-views. There's now a rumor that he could potentially be facing Rich Swan. He could even be the Impact Wrestling World Champion in a couple of months' time. A one-off, it certainly isn't at this point. Not that intertwined, it certainly isn't. He'll have appeared on at least five or six episodes of Impact Wrestling on Access TV before the Hard to Kill match even happens. So a one-off, it's just absolutely not. And the way this storyline is going, if you want to look at what is a real Kenny Omega update here and where this storyline is going, what we're going to be looking at going forward, the way that this storyline is going, Kenny Omega is going to be sticking around for a long time, it looks like, at least for the foreseeable future in Impact Wrestling. Why? Because if you want to try and predict what's going to happen at Hard to Kill in January, the Bullet Club have to win. They they have to win at Hard to Kill. Why would you reform one of the biggest, most popular and most dominant factions in recent history and have them lose in their first ever match inside of an Impact Wrestling ring? Why would you have Kenny Omega, the AEW World Champion, one of the best wrestlers on the planet right now, one of... Or easily, he's not under an Impact Wrestling contract, but every time he appears on an Impact Wrestling show, he's the biggest star on that show. Why would you have him lose his first match inside of an Impact Wrestling ring at Hard to Kill? It's just not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. It's just not the case. So you just wouldn't do that. So of course the Bullet Club are going to win at Hard to Kill. Of course Kenny Omega is going to win at Hard to Kill. And if they win, that means they're going to... They're going to stay as a faction for a while. If they're going to stay as a faction for a while, they're going to stick around in Impact Wrestling for a while because the Good Brothers are under contract to Impact Wrestling and Don Callis for now is the Impact Wrestling Executive Vice President. So he's going to have Kenny Omega around in Impact Wrestling for a while. So that, plus those plans, right? Because that's just what's going to happen. Plus, as I mentioned before, and I mentioned it at the top of the video here, it's very, very obvious at this point, Kenny Omega will at the very, very least, compete for the Impact World Championship. Whether or not he'll win it or not, that's probably a discussion for another video at another time. But at this point, it's very, very obvious that Kenny Omega, at the very, very least, will compete for the Impact World Championship. He mentioned it himself. He's a collector. He used to collect comic books when he was a child and he stopped when he realized he couldn't collect them all. Now when he's older and he's a pro wrestler, he wants to collect titles. He's the AEW World Champion. He's the AAA Mega Champion. He wants to now be the Impact World Champion. The line about being a collector wasn't just a throwaway line. That wasn't just a subtle tease. That was a subtle tease to tell everyone that Kenny Omega is going to be coming after the Impact World Championship. That was a line to tell people, look, this is going to happen in the future. Buckle up because this is something that we're going to see going forward. Plus, you have the teases with Rich Swan in the hallway, right? Rich Swan wants to leave. Skyway Studios there in Nashville, Tennessee. He goes to leave. You have the security guard there say you can't leave. The world champion has blocked off the parking lot. Rich Swan says, tell Moose that I'm the world champion. He's not the real world champion. He says, no, no, no. It's Kenny Omega, the AEW world champion. That segment, those teases, now this beginning of this feud with Kenny Omega and Rich Swan in Impact Wrestling, that's all to lead to an Impact Wrestling World Championship match. That is going to be happening in the future. Now, this match at Hard to Kill, of course, is going to feature two world champions. But truly, I think the big money match in this feud, obviously, is world champion versus world champion in a singles match with both titles on the line. And I think ultimately, that's where we're headed with this one. I've said it from the start. What's the biggest match you can do in this AEW and Impact Wrestling relationship? What's the biggest match, the match that everyone would be the most excited in, in, in seeing? What's the match that everyone would want to see? What's the match that would get the most buzz? It would be world champion versus world champion with both titles on the line. Plus, it's already been reported by Dave Meltzer, and I know people think about Dave Meltzer's credibility when it comes to AEW wrestlers, when it comes to connections with AEW. Dave Meltzer is arguably the person with the closest connections to AEW, so I do believe what he's saying with this one. He's reported that Kenny Omega will be competing in multiple Impact Wrestling pay-per-views, the emphasis being on multiple there. So obviously he's going to be competing at Hard to Kill, but that isn't going to be the only Impact Wrestling pay-per-view that Kenny Omega competes at. I think the second Impact Wrestling pay-per-view that Kenny Omega competes at will be against Rich Swan for the Impact World Championship. Now, we know that Kenny at the moment hasn't been announced for Genesis in January, seven days before Hard to Kill. So when or where does he face Rich Swan for that Impact World Championship? Now, I've seen some people saying, well, it'll probably be an Impact Plus event. I get some of the rationale behind that in that if they do do that for an Impact Plus event, that would be... 
good to a point because I guess it would drive subscriptions to the Impact Plus service, but it isn't as essential to Impact Wrestling as, say, the WWE Network is to WWE. I think if they're going to do world champion versus world champion, they're going to do it for a pay-per-view. They would want to do it for a pay-per-view because that does still drive revenue for Impact Wrestling going forward. So I just don't see him see Impact and AEW doing that on an on a throwaway Impact Plus event. I think they would want to do it on a pay-per-view. The issue that you have then is that after Hard to Kill, the closest pay-per-view for Impact Wrestling is Slammiversary. So you then have to ask the question, realistically, can Impact Wrestling and AEW hold out this Kenny Omega and Impact Wrestling storyline all the way to July? I just don't know. I just don't know if they can. That's a long way away. Obviously, we're in the end of December now. That's seven months away in July. I don't know if they can hold it out. I have said previously that I could see them doing the match at AEW Revolution. That's the closest AEW pay-per-view. That's in February. I could see them holding out that long. But would Impact Wrestling want to have the Impact Wrestling World Champion versus the AEW World Champion on an AEW event? Personally, if I was an Impact Wrestling executive, I wouldn't have a problem with it because it's a bigger stage and more people will be watching. It will be, it will create way more buzz. And if you're going to have Kenny Omega win the Impact World title, you could then have it happen on a big stage and then drive everyone to watch Impact Wrestling on the Tuesday to see the fallout from it. I think that would be the way to do it. So we'll have to wait and see on that one. Nevertheless, Kenny Omega, when it comes to Impact Wrestling, looks to me like he isn't going anywhere anytime soon, and we can expect to see him on multiple episodes of Impact Wrestling going forward. So get ready, because we're going to see much more of the cleaner in Impact uh, as we head into the end of December and the start of the new year. Obviously, at the moment, it's too, um, it's too, it's the next two weeks are two weeks of uh, year-end recaps for Impact Wrestling on Access TV. So I don't think usually I would do a preview of Impact Wrestling on a Tuesday. We're not going to do that for the next couple of weeks because, as I mentioned, there's nothing to really preview because it's the end of year shows for Impact Wrestling. So what we'll do, we'll just do more Impact Wrestling news videos going forward. If there's any breaking news, we might do some lists of our own. Let me know what you want to see in these Impact Wrestling videos going forward and we can do that. Uh, but of course, as always, this is just one man's opinion. What are your thoughts on the updates on plans for Kenny Omega in Impact Wrestling? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. I'll do my best to respond and reply to all of your comments really enjoy interacting with you guys talking about impact wrestling AEW, wwe all that fun stuff so get involved with the community drop a comment below all opinions are welcome if you have enjoyed this video please do smash a like on the like button it really does help us out here on youtube go up the rankings and get into people's recommendation feeds if they haven't seen our videos previously but most importantly if you haven't already please do subscribe to wrestle news 365 you can do that by clicking the bottom right hand corner of the screen right now or if you wait a few seconds there'll be a subscribe button at the end of this video along with another video for you to watch as i mentioned hard to kill and genesis is coming up in the new year we will be doing live watch longs for them so if you subscribe now click that notification bell you won't have to worry about being notified when we go live in january for those watch longs really excited of course as i mentioned hard to kill has got the main event of kenny omega and the good brothers the bullet club facing off against the impact world champion rich swan and the motor city machine guns and it looks to me like it's just the beginning when it comes to kenny omega in impact wrestling thank you very much for watching listening streaming or however you come across this video today and i'll speak for you again very very soon Hey guys, thank you for watching, listening, streaming, or however you come across this video today. Be sure to click on the video on the right there to watch our next video, or click the bottom there to subscribe, or the bottom right-hand corner. Thank you very much, and I'll speak to you again very soon.